You gotta think outside of the box. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment with another poll, another Sons of Aragon theory. And we were thinking out the box by thinking who would last longest in the box. We know in the show, Opie is the unfortunate soul that gets chucked in there. But what if it wasn't him? What if we had four alternate stories where Opie, Chibs, Teg, and Jax, what if they all went into the pit and all took on the four big black dicks? Like a good old-fashioned telltale game. Maybe we've minus that last part, but I think Opie lasted about, what, a minute? 60 seconds? 60 seconds. God in 60 seconds. <laughs> right, so Opie won the poll with 47%. Jax got 28% in the second. Tig got third. And Chibs got fourth. What do we think of it? We're not just going to look at it, who won. We're going to look at it. Who would have had the best chance? Who do we think at the four? Well, you know what? I actually agree with Chibs coming in last. Yeah, I'll probably agree with that. I would say from what we've seen so far, Chibs is probably the weakest fighter. And I just think... I, I, I oh, We tag against those four guys. I think he's willing to go to... Biting. That, yeah, he's willing to, you know, take every tactic. Every, he's willing to go to any depth of hell, I think, in order to try and survive. Like, I'm not saying Chibs wouldn't try and survive, but I reckon Tig would literally, I mean, do whatever it takes. Yep, Tig and Chibs obviously a bit older than Jax and OP, which does come into play here. We can't deny that, but, I mean, Jax has plot armor, but let's just take plot armor out of it. OP has the size. The strength. The strength. The capabilities. The, the big hands and the um, eyes. He's the closest thing to Hightower as there is. But Jax, I mean, in the previous scene, battered Hightower. Opie's probably the only guy that can land a punch on Hightower without a ladder. So, I mean, <laughs> that, that's got to give him some sort of advantage. And the fact that almost half of you guys believe that Opie would have the best chance. You know what? I'm going to agree with you, but Opie didn't even do that well in the series. So... Based on the logic of this poll, everyone thinks that Jax, Tig, and Chibs would do a hell of a lot worse than Opie did. So if Opie lasted 60 seconds, based on Chibs getting 11% of the vote, does that mean he would last about 20 seconds? But potentially, maybe 11 seconds. I I'm not too sure. But, I mean, Opie, Jax said he was looking for a way out. Was it suicide by Opie? Could he put up a better fight? Or will it, was he just going to go in there and put in a bit of a show? Well, if he didn't, if he didn't, he could have just dropped the fucking pipe, couldn't True, he? right, but that would have been pathetic. Do we, Do you think... I reckon Phoenix Farm Dam would have lasted longer. She'd have probably just shoved the pipe up high well, to she's got two fucking cushions. They would have burst. Uh, she, I think she'd have put the pipe up laying <laughs> pipe. She'd have, she'd have smacked some pipe up big high tower. Want to put it on your Facebook page, high tower? But do you think Opie... Put 100% effort in, or do you feel like he was willing to? Of course to they did. They hardly went in thinking, here, take this pipe off me and smack me over the head and put me with my Come music. on, Hightower. Hit me with it, you son of a bitch. Damn it. I mean, I think Opie went into... I think Opie went in knowing that he couldn't win, but he was going to try anyway. Like anyone? Like Jax? Uh, Jax yeah. probably knew he wasn't going to win. Uh, the, the odds were stacked against him. If Jax thought they, they could have won... He would have come up with a plan or something, you know? Like, <laughs> Like, you, 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 we'll be, we're sending you in, yeah. you've got the best chance, we'll do something. <laughs> Wait, bang the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> we'll bang it. We'll try and create a bit of atmosphere, home team. I know, Let's mate. go, Opie, let's go. Even if Opie did take the four of them out, and I have four would have probably got sent in. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I mean, it was like a gauntlet match. You can't actually <laughs> it win. It was a slobber knife. You know, it, all you can do is accumulate a high score and see how many men you can take down. That was probably, pretty much the goal. I'm it? going to agree with the order here. I, I agree with Order as well. I, I think it's right. I think Teg probably would have had a bit of black meat in his mouth <laughs> by biting it. <laughs> Not from Hightower. Anyway, right, let's move into the comment section. So Seven. Seven is the perfect number. Professor, Lucky are you number still seven as well. No, no. Hurricane Paro. Hurricane Paro said, after what we saw, it didn't look long to me. I mean, well, I mean, what do you mean after what we saw? It wasn't very long. But a minute. The pipe was fucking longer than Opie's uh, survival duration, but I mean, he'd done his best. That's all you can ask for in these situations. Absolutely. Uh, Bridget Connor says, I think most of John Kramer's traps probably had better odds of survival than the box did. Absolutely. I'd say so. I reckon the box in uh, From has a better survival chance than this. No, but with this, it's like... like you, They're just going to constantly send people in. It's not a one-on-four. It's a one-on... It's pretty much a case of... Opie would probably need to eliminate the entire prison population to survive. And yeah. even then, they'd probably send in the cops and then Pope's the final boss. <laughs> nice. Big Pope walks in with a revolver, just 
Shootsy. Good night. Well, how can you win? John Kramer, all right. Otto says, I'm not good at guessing who's the best fighter, but, I'm, but I must say, I'm surprised not more people for it for chip, chips. Wait, just chips? Is that the one? Is that her from uh, Mayans MC, Broken Saints? My, where, are you, where are you plucking that name from? Is that not her name, Chips? No, it's not. Chips? It's Chip. Oh, uh, Chip. Oh, well. Yeah, my point is, she's a jobber. Let's not mention her name again. How long would she have survived? I know, a plot armor. Boy. Which Broken Saint member would have lasted the longest? I don't know. Who do you think? Johnny? I don't know. Yeah. That one? Because got a man sounding uh, name. Uh, probably. <laughs> Johnny Clovitz, right? Uh, Professor, Professor Freeman says Jax would have only caused a plot armor. I know, but would he have? Because, I mean, plot armor would mean Jax has to survive, but he can't survive this, so, I mean, they may as well just kill him. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weak if Opie, like, kills one and Jax eliminates the prison. Uh, and Tiggy would have probably just tried and bite his way through. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, Tiggy. I think Tiggy would have been biting and clawing and scratching and poking eyes and whatever it takes, really. He would have died anyway, but I think he... I mean, Tig would have died, right? But I, I think he'd have probably maimed probably all four guys. Aye, a bite mark. Um, but ultimately, I, feel, I think Chibs would go out exactly like Opie did, what? On his knees with a big lead pipe to the back of the head. You bastards are dead. You oh, bastards. shit, no, I'm dead. Boom. Aye, probably. So, uh, I mean, they'll probably all would have went like just Opie. looked at the window and went, shite, Jackie boy. <laughs> they probably all would have went out like Opie. Aye, looking at my, the... My, my, what I enjoyed about this scene, though, was the, the, different, the three different reactions from... Jack's oh, uh, Jack's Clay not Clay wasn't there. <laughs> Jack's Tig and Chibs. You know, they all handled it differently. I know they did. They absolutely did, but end of the day. Tig's a bit of a shite bag though, because I guess like at the end of the day he can't he maybe he feels like he's to blame here and he couldn't look. Which is a shite bag option. He kinda just slumped up against the the I, wall. The wall, like a big shite bag. Jeff Dollar says, could Op I think Ope could have won, but he was committing Sui. So that was his desired outcome. Like I said, he was committing suicide. He thinks. Peanut says, I was thinking that while watching it, he could have easily taken them with that pipe. Okay. I, I'm going to disagree because it's not like he just dropped the pipe and pulled his pants down and says to Hightower, take your best shot. I mean, <laughs> he was trying to fend them off and Hightower came up from behind, grabbed them, and then he got punched and had the pipe... Uh, you cracked know, off his dome. Pulled off him. Then cracked off his dome. Yeah, it's not like he just gave up the pipe and was like, I here, take your best shot, guys. You know what I mean? Like, fucking take a swing. Uh, that's not what happened. I mean, he went in there, he went in there swinging, and then he got swung on, and that was pretty you much see, you're it. Right. That's why it was realistic. We don't want him taking on like ten guys and fucking winning. That's unrealistic. Is. I like a show here. See ten on one in a gunfight. Absolutely, I think if you're good, you can do that. See ten, see ten on one fisticuffs. See, see in Seagal's movies and like Avengers, it happens like one comes forward, then he attacks him, then he gets the another guy. When in reality, it would have happened like this. The four guys are waiting till the pipe is removed. Then they all, then they were on him like a pack of dogs. That's it, that's what happens in the real world. People don't wait for their fucking spot. Maybe they do. Huh? Well, it's hard for ten people to attack one person at the same time. I know, but come on. But yeah, like if you see fights and stuff like that in gangs, like they just attack somebody. Don't they? Don't wait. Aye. To see if they can. Take What's the care point of a numbers game if you're going to wait one on ones? From a cinematic standpoint, though, it doesn't really make for a good fight scene, does it? No, but come on. Just wake up and smell the coffee. And then there you go. I love a, a long comment, but you love it even more. So you read it. Fuck. Sophia and John's World. I'm assuming it's a, a co op channel then. Uh, I love Jax as a character. However, if we're not considering plot armor, then it's Chibs far and wide. The man has received a Glasgow smile. Been blown up by a car bomb almost twice if you count the truck in Ireland, and actually, thrice if you consider Teller Morrow blowing up and him being the last one out. Jack, I think you're clutching at straws there. Uh, Jack was the last one out though. Jax was a great character, but he was severely conflicted from the start. Chibs loved Jax, but Chibs was the one person other than Ope, rest in peace, who would tell Jax he was wrong, and Jax would actually listen. Chibs would have been able to slaughter all of the Pope power by himself if the situation had been both sides. Every man to the death, one last man standing, then Chibs would be in for some very intense PTSD. All right. I got um, some very intense <laughs> delusion. I got PTSD reading that. Ah, oh, come on. Ch Chibs? How, just because he received a Glasgow smile means he can beat four guys up. 
And ah. he, he, he survived bombings. Um, Here, you know, maybe his pain barrier is more than the other three, but that doesn't automatically... Oh, hold on, he, 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 was, he, he was in hospital for like two episodes in season two. Yeah, he got blown up by a fucking car. I saw so it. Kozik got blown up and he wasn't in hospital for two episodes? He was in a million bits. <laughs> well, there you go. Does that mean Kozik's got more of a chance because he stepped on a landmine? No, the point is, Tig, yeah, Chib survived. Aye. Aye. Would he have survived the landmine, though? Probably <laughs> not. All right, but the, all right, maybe the guy survived more than others, but that doesn't necessarily mean offensively that he's great. Well, are you telling me that that means that Chips would have survived the, the lead pipe to the back of the head, but it just bounced off him like rubber. I mean, come on. I don't trust him. No. I don't trust that pipe, Jackie boy. I you, mean, you, and you don't know shit about lead pipes. <laughs> I'm fun. the man that knows lead pipes. <laughs> I know the metal. Anyway, uh, this is where us, this is where Fog Entertainment signs out. Closing thoughts. <laughs> um, nah, I, I'm sorry. No, for... but even if Chiggs. Ch- 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 <laughs> Even if Chibs, right, has like the the biggest pain threshold and he's got the most durability, that doesn't automatically translate these. That just up. that just means if one lead pipe to the back of the dome doesn't do it, hi Tara will just take a couple of swings instead. Yeah. No, like, like there's the best fighters in the world. Well, but according to Sophia and John's world, I mean, if Chibs was in The Walking Dead, Rick would have just nominated Chibs to Negan, and Negan's bat would have just bounced off Chibs' dome and it wouldn't have had any effect. Then Chibs would have just turned around and blew him up. I mean, come on. Yeah, but some average person, right? You know I mean, there's some like pathetic people out there, right? Like emos that cut themselves. They might think they have a great pain threshold, but what about these guys, like boxers or heavyweights that are like six foot six, but they, like, they've got a glass chin? Well, Opie's a heavyweight, isn't he? And he's maybe... Has he got a glass chin, though? Uh, glass back of the head. My maybe. point is, there's a lot of people out there, right, that have got decent pain thresholds who are not physically demanding or. I'm not saying Chibs is a midget. He's quite tall. He's probably, I think he's a bit taller than Jax, but... Look, I don't care. Look at the size of Randall Hightower. Anyone that takes a... Yeah, a... actually. Well, Chibs killed him. Aye. He fucking laid the smack down. Anyone who takes a, a lead pipe to the back of the head for a guy that size, uh, I mean, good luck. Aye. I mean, good luck. Aye, fucking good luck. He's taking six or seven for the team. Anyway, guys, till next time, leave your thoughts down below, and peace. Oh, hell yeah.